Hey, I am making some pineapple upside down cake in my rock crock tonight in the microwave. But I wanted to come on and just show how the batter mixer and dispenser works, even though we don't really need it to cook in the microwave in the rock crock because it's just one big item. But the batter mixer and dispenser has three different size settings. So if you want to make cupcakes or brownies, individual brownies, pancakes, you just choose the size you want. But I just wanted to show you how cool it was, so I thought I'd just show you that and the amazing Rock Rock microwave cake in the same night. So I melted a quarter cup of butter in the Rock Rock, and now in my measure all cup, the small measure all cup, I have a third cup of brown sugar, and so I have it in the end with the red pointing up, which is the dry solid end, and then you just plunge it, get it out of there real easy. You can flip this cup with the blue arrow up, the cup is open on the top, you can use for liquids like water or oil. So we just put that in there with the melted butter and let it cook for a couple minutes until it's bubbly before we put our pineapple in the bottom. So stir that up and then everybody knows our classic scrapers, I think. They're just a solid, formed solidly so nothing, the head doesn't come off and no yucky gunkies get in in between the head of your handle and the head. So, I bought pineapple slices to make this cake and even though it has the tab lid, that leaves a sharp edge. So I used our smooth edge can opener even on cans like that. And for this you just set it right on top, twist it to lock it in place, and then you can twist your hand, but I like to do it this way, it's just easier. And you can't really feel it doing anything, but you can slightly feel when you get to the end, right there I got to the end, slightly feel it, and then you take and you reverse it, spin it counterclockwise to unlock it from the can. And then on here we have the little jaws right here and a lever here. Put the jaws on there, pull the lever, and we have no sharp edge, no sharp edge here either. It doesn't cut the can, it just breaks the seal. So I'm going to drain those. You see my largest of the Easy Read measuring cups with the Easy Read measuring colander. To get the juice off. And this is great for canned vegetables or fruits. And you think rinsing dried beans. I use it for that because it has the measure lines up to three cups in there. So you know how much. And you can rinse right in there. And the water drains right out. Wait for this to cook up so the rock crocks can go stove top. You can use them in the oven, under the broiler, in the microwave, and on the grill. You can also get a slow cooker base with them. With the this is the four quart Dutch oven. And we do have an everyday pan, which is not available right now. That's two and a half quarts. So both of those work on the slow cooker base. And it's my favorite slow cooker ever. You can also freeze in them, though I don't know. I wouldn't 
I don't have any reason to freeze in it. I want my rock crock available to me all the time. But I do store in the fridge in them. You can use them up to just over 750 degrees heat Fahrenheit. So they're pretty sturdy. So our batter mixer and dispenser. I just store my little plunger thing inside that it has the I don't know what it's really called, the beading wheel here. You mix it up with that, and then when you're done, you put the little silicone on there. You will enter it at an angle after your batter's beat up, and then straighten it out so you get all the air out of there so you're not pushing out air bubbles. And when you're not using it, it has a cover so that you're not losing your batter all over the countertop. So in this, you always want to put your liquids in first. So I have one cup of water. In our Easy Read measuring cups, some people do complain on that. If you have really dark countertops, like black, you can't see the writing. But I just always put mine on a paper towel. I don't know if you can see my paper towel here. Probably not. I set them on a paper towel. When I'm using them, it gets any drips but you can also see your measurement lines really easy that way. So I have one cup of water, one third cup of oil, just the basic, what it calls for on the cake box mix, which you can do homemade if you want to, but this is just a cake mix. Three eggs. I'm trying a different kind of cake mix. It says to use yellow cake mix, but I found this perfectly moist pineapple supreme that I'm trying tonight. Put that in there. I've already cut this open. And it's going to get pretty full, but it'll fit. this, twist that and lock it on, and then you just plunge until it's done. A little bit noisy. Don't do this when anybody's sleeping in the house. Mix it up, mix it up for a while. It's just as simple as that, though. So it's great for <clears throat> pancakes, muffins, whatever you'd want in smaller amounts. And we do this. This is the messiest part of the whole deal. And put this on. And then like I said, instead of going straight in, you go in at an angle so you get rid of all the air bubbles. And then that. And let's see, just for fun, I am going to show you in. The little one cup prep bowl. You take this off. And then hopefully I put it together right the last time I used it. Yep. There you go. That's one, two, that's the large, so about a third cup. I've never done this before. And then we go from third, and it takes you up just a little more than a half cup on the medium one. And then the smallest one from that to there. So it's just as easy as that. So now I'm going to finish this. My brown sugar is getting bubbly in there. 
will take you over where you can kind of see the rock rock. So, pick up the camera, see. Brown sugar in there. Boy, I'm a little wiggly, aren't I? So, and then I have my little mini bar board. pineapple and instead of rings I like to slice them. I can get more pineapple on that way. Slice them in half down the center and that's the coated utility knife which they come with a nice cover so you don't get cut. My handles aren't hot yet. So I'm going to lift this forward and layer my pineapples in the bottom. my cake's cooked, I'm just going to post a picture of it because it's going to take about uh, ten, maybe 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes before it's done. And I know we don't want to sit on here on live and just wait, so we'll put some cherries in there. I don't have that many left. So I better do every other one a cherry instead of every ring. And it almost worked out. Maybe if I put one more pineapple in, it'll work out perfectly. Just my hands. So, oh, you can kind of see how those are in there. And then we just pour our batter right on top of there, cover it and put it in the microwave. So since I did it this way, I was going to do little minis, but I, I didn't have time. I knew I was home too late from the store today, so I decided to use my rock cock. But I was going to make these in my mini loaf pan. I thought those would be really cute little individual pineapple upside down cakes. So now I'm going to put it on the biggest and just finish filling this up. Here we go. Let's see. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. I'll be right back to show you how to take the batter mixture apart. And I know that cake made in the microwave sounds horrible, but it actually comes out really good. So now to clean this, it comes apart easier if you take that bottom off to let some air in. And so, so yeah, it has a little bit in there that you could scrape out if you wanted to. But to clean now, you don't take it all apart. This just locks on with a twist and you take it apart like this and if you have any batter that gets up there you can just wash it out. Don't take it all the way apart because then you might lose your pieces. Or forget what order they go back in. So you can just throw that whole thing in the dishwasher. It's great. What do you think about it? I thought it was the craziest idea when I first saw it, and then I used it, and I love it. Oh. Bye! Hey, Missy!